Hello everyone. In this new video, we are going to see construction of an exciting new robot that is Gandhiji's three monkeys and we are going to talk about first monkey which is Buramat Bolo. Let's see the first step. In the first step, we are going to make the body of the monkey using two C plates and one rectangular plate joined using one flat connector and two 0 0.5 inch bolts and nut here, one flat connector and two 0 0.5 bolts and nuts here, here also one flat connector and two 0 0.5 inch bolts and nuts and here also one flat connector and two 0 0.5 inch bolts and nuts. The C plate and rectangular plate should be connected to each other without any cap between them. Let's go to next step. This one we are showing it from the side and we are going to connect one flat rotator using one 0 0.5 inch bolt and nut. And similarly one more flat rotator will be connected to the other C plate at the same level and in the same alignment that is the slightly inclined one. And we are also going to connect one DC motor with motor shaft and put two spacers onto the motor shaft. Let's go to the next step. In this step, what we are going to do is we are going to put one big axle through the holes of these two flat rotators which we connected in our last step. And we are going to connect one small assembly using one flat rotator, one one inch bolt and nut. This nut is tightened to the flat rotator and then we are going to put one spacer on that. And this assembly we are going to mount on the motor shaft and lock it using one shaft lock. So this assembly we will call as assembly A. Let's move on to the next step. In this step we are going to use one big gear and connect one 1 1.5 inch bolt and secure it tightly to this big gear. And on that we are going to put two spacers. Now if you see, if you have a new kit, you have on the big gear one side you have small protruding part and on the other side it is a slightly bigger protruding part. So we are going to connect the head of the bolt onto the side where there is a bigger protruding part and the tail is coming out from the side where there is a smaller protruding part. Then we are going to connect two 0 0.5 inch bolts to this big gear and they are put in middle hole of the top row and middle hole of this left hand side row and they are tightened to this big gear first and once we tighten that then we will put one single bar over that and then we'll use two more nuts to lock this single bar. So the single bar has one nut above it and one nut below it and that ensures that the single bar stays straight, it does not bend. We will call this as assembly B. We will make two such assemblies and they should be mirror images of each other. Let us move on to next step. In step 5, we are going to mount the assemblies which we created and we called as assemblies B onto the big axle of assembly A and then we are going to lock it using one shaft lock this side and one shaft lock this side also and this total we will call as assembly C. Let us move on to next step. Here we are going to make one push pull rod. We will use a single bar and we'll connect one flat rotator using one 0 0.5 inch bolt and nut on this end. The bolt is attached here, so we have a hole here and the other one is here. The bolt is attached here and we have a hole here. So the distance between these two holes depend upon the picture of the monkey which you are going to use. You might have to shift this hole towards left or right based on the size of the monkey you are going to use. And also 
This is Buramat Bolo, which is the hand will come up to mouth. Now, if you want the hand to come up to the eyes, Buramat Dekho Monkey, the entire steps are same. Only one difference is that the distance between these two holes will reduce. This hole might come at this place. So you reduce the distance between these two holes. The hand movement will be slightly more. And so the hand which is going up to the mouth now will go up to the eyes. And that will ensure that you create Buramat Dekho Monkey. We'll call this as assembly D and we'll move on to the next step. In this step, we are going to connect the assembly D to assembly C. So this was our C assembly. This is our D assembly and we are going to connect it here. We had one 1.5 inch bolt here. We will put one nut loosely coupled here. We'll put one nut loosely coupled here. And that actually finishes our robot. Now we will print the picture of the monkey and we will paste the picture on to this body as well as we will cut the hands and we will paste them on this single bar. And then the design will look like this. So if you can see we have pasted this hand at 90 degrees and when this motor moves this is going to move this gear and this gear is going to move these hands both these gears are going to move the hand and hand will go up to the mouth if we want the hand to be up to the eyes we need to reduce the distance between these two so the distance between these two holes of the single bar are going to decide whether the hands will reach mouth or they will reach eyes and that will make either buramat bolo or buramat dekho monkey I'm sure you will love making and operating this monkey. Do let us know how you liked it and we will come back with the third monkey, Buramat Suno, in our next video. Till then, happy making.